welcome to another review and we're going to be doing some holsters today. So if you guys have been following the channel for some time, you know that I primarily only use double click holsters. It's not that they just support the channel and help me out and do custom one-offs, but they build, as far as I'm concerned, the best Kydex holster uh, for the Steyr pistols and pretty much anything that I can get a holster or that I want a holster for. So. Today's video, I'm going to talk about two of their new holsters and also their new clip that just come out. So let's get into it. Let's talk some holsters. Let's get into it. Well, you guys know the new A2MF is here. It's out. All three sizes are available now in the United States. And Double Click is still, as of the filming of this uh, video, the only company that actually offers a production A2 holster or the A2MF. Uh, I do know there's a few companies that if you call and ask, send your gun into them, or if you just happen to know somebody that works there, they will make you a holster. Uh, I've seen a few of them. They're out on the Steyr Club and on the forums, but as of today, and this is June of 2021, DoubleClick is the only company that you can actually go to their website and click and choose an A2 option. So I think that's really awesome and that needs to be really highlighted that they've been here since day one. They've been building these holsters now for the A2 uh, well over a year. I believe this August will actually be two years. So nobody else has stepped up to actually do a production all the time, be able to order it, holster at least that I've been able to find. So kudos to them. And we'll get into a couple of their new offerings for the Styres. So they are always moving and inventing and trying something new. As you guys know, this here is my outside the waistband holster. This is for my A2. This was the original holster that started the A2 lineup. And granted, this one's a little fancy, um, I believe actually one of the guys on the Styre Club actually ordered this particular holster. Uh, so if you guys want an outside the waistband, you like this one, or you, you want their logo on it, just tell them that you're looking for the, the A2, uh, or the TN Styre A2. This is a Tactical Elite. Um, it's black red with a little white Kydex on the inside. It's got a nice little color. Their logo's on it. This is my primary gun belt, or just outside the waistband holster. I don't use anything else. Uh, I love this thing. It's over a year old. It's got no wear and tear. The retention, everything is perfect, just like the day I got it. And I could not honestly tell you how long or how many times the gun's been in and out of this holster between about the eight or nine Steyr pistols that I run constantly, and the retention is perfect. That is a well, what I would consider a single retention, it is a double click, but it has no security. It doesn't have the extra bolster on the back for law enforcement like the Tactical Pro does, and that's not coming out. So that's that standard retention. That's what their everyone knows double click for, and that's why I like them so much. And like I said, there's no telling how many times a uh, pistol's been out, in and out of this holster. So that's my original. Now, my original inside the waistband holster, the very first one I got from them, is this one here. And again, this thing has been phenomenal. It's got a couple wear, a couple scratches or dents into it because I've really, really tried to beat this thing. Um, it's now done three different range day events. I've loaned this holster out. I had let anybody, when I do my demo days, like this is normally the one I hand out and we have been able to put a, a scuff into it but unless I point it out you're not going to be able to tell. The clips are original, the sinew leather on the back is all original, it's never peeled. Uh, the days down here, this you know, 100, 103 degree weather, sweating to death, being a larger guy, really sweating. It doesn't smell, it doesn't retain water, it's never peeled, it doesn't hurt the body and it's, it's just a phenomenal holster. Now, I did say this is for an A1. Um, one of the interesting things with DoubleClick, 
when they first started doing the Snyder holst holsters, they didn't even know about the A2 coming out. And it wasn't until I did the review on it and I showed that their original holster for the A1 will actually accommodate an A2. Now, when I told them this and did the review on it, they were kind of shocked because they didn't even try to mess with it because they hadn't received this, hol this uh, pistol yet to actually build this holster and then build it for the commercial market. Um, they looked at it and they weren't 100% happy of how the gaps and the, the daylight, you, when you look down it, there's some light you can kind of see in the holster. And they just didn't want to sell a product that wasn't specifically made for this gun. So they went ahead and they redesigned their tooling, upgraded a bunch of stuff, and changed their whole product line now that if you order a holster, their holsters will work with A1s or A2s, doesn't matter. So I think that's something to be really admiral about that the company just didn't say, hey, it works and we're just gonna run with it. They actually ended up retooling and then they made this holster. Now this is the original um, IWB or an A IWB, which is an appendix rig or inside the waistband. Um, I used it, it had the clips, everything positioned for appendix. This is the newest model. This is now for the A2 or A1, doesn't matter. If you order one, this is called the three-way. Uh, the reason it's known that is because it actually has two clips here or you can switch over to a third clip if you wanted to run on the center, if you needed to run on a vest or a different uh, rig system. You can actually remove these two clips and go to a single point clip. It has some, some area to move to make it modular to what you'd like. Uh, we'll talk about this clip here in just a second. But the new three-way holster, it's A1 compatible, like I said. Now, I, this holster is about three, three to four months old now. I've been running it. There's no adjustments. I mean, double clicks are made. You don't have to worry about uh, retention adjustments or anything else. The only adjustment is to move the actual belt clips to wherever you want them up and down. And I believe there's three... There's three different sets here. You can, there's three different holes you're gonna move this. This is in its highest form and you can bring it up or you, you know take it down to a single point. And then on the three-way itself has a about three inches worth of adjustment that you can play into it. And again, there's the holster. It stays in, works. It doesn't come out. That's on the A1 and an A2 holster. And I'll show you here. The retention's just as good it's there, it doesn't move, doesn't come out, and the fit and finish is awesome. Uh, I've got a couple holsters that I've tried, I've bought, I've done demos with, I've tested them, and the one thing that always brings me back to these is just the fit and finish, that there's no sharp edges, nothing digs into the body, nothing will pinch you or rub or make you uncomfortable when you want to wear one of these holsters. So. That's a huge, huge thing. If you guys know, I've tried a couple of different ones. I've actually highlighted them on the channel. And these just, I haven't found another holster that, that can beat one. So, talking about the three-way, and this is the newest offering and the, and the upgrade to the old IW, the IWB. And getting into it, just to kind of show you guys a side-by-side, -side, uh, what they've improved on and what they've adjusted is the actual shape of the holster and they've actually made it smaller by about half an inch. So there's the front side of it. If you look at the sweat guards up here on the front, you can see that the different height angles and they're cut just a, a little bit different. This one's more just rounded and brought around and this one kind of does the shark fin and then cuts back. The front of the holsters, uh, let's see here, get here. The actual rounded part here is about 95% the same. And I'll show you guys here since I'm looking backwards at it. Uh, this one is just a little bit more uh, convexed, so it's, it's got a little bit more of a rounder shape to it. You can really tell in the back of this holster where the original, the A1 holster was very round. They've squared this one up. And when you put these two together and you bring them right up on the sides, you can actually tell, and I'm gonna pin these and put my finger right here, you can actually see right here, 
there's about a half an inch uh, difference between the A1 or the original holster and then the A2 slash A1 holster uh, where they actually made the holster uh, on the width side of it a little bit narrower. The actual height of the holster, I'm kind of close, I really want to say they're they're within a millimeter of each other. Honestly, I don't think there's much. If we put one right here, I'd have to get a ruler out. I'd say this one's maybe just like a millimeter taller in the sweat guard compared to this one, but the shape and everything on the back of it is dramatically different. You can actually tell here where it curves more in for the body, where this one's more flat, uh, has changed a whole lot. And if when you were to look at how the gun actually goes into the holster, you can tell this has a much deeper curvature than the original holster. So this is our new and improved one. And moving from the three-way, they have introduced the ghost holster. Uh, if you guys were at the last range day demo, you saw that I uh, gave away a whole bunch of their new trigger guard holsters, which is literally that's all it is. It's just a trigger guard. I'm sorry I don't have one here to show you. Um, I'll see if I can get a picture and I'll post it up now. Okay, well, if you guys saw the picture, you saw just the trigger guard. So basically, it attaches around your trigger uh, guard here in the lower of the grip and just blocks it. Um, a lot of people use them for when they carry in uh, ball shorts or beach wear, or if they're just going to store their gun inside a cabinet, that's really what those were designed for. And one of their customers had asked, he liked the three-way, but he really liked the use of the trigger guard style holster. So they did a hybrid, uh, and also they were thinking of like the old style taco holsters. Uh, if you're not overly familiar, basically they used to take a big sheet of Kydex, heat it, put the gun in the middle, and fold it up like a taco. And that's kind of where the ghost holster came in. It's a single point for your clothing. Once the gun goes in, it actually uses the little bit of, of movement in the kydex for it to roll over to help grip also. But it is strictly a minimalist holster, uh, really for the guys that want to wear uh, basketball shorts or something without a belt. Uh, I've been wearing uh, a 5.11 kilt and testing this and with the kilt I don't use um, a heavy 5.11 belt or any really any belt because it's not necessary and I've been absolutely loving this holster. The single point retention, the way that the kydex loops up around the top of the slide actually pins against the body and pushes with the rotation which keeps it locked into the uh, clothing. So it's got good re uh, grip angle to get onto the pistol it is exposed, so you can see the top of your gun to exactly which one that you have. I will say when I received this holster, I had no idea exactly what they were wanting to do with it or what it was supposed to do. Uh, we had a couple phone, phone conversations, we talked about it, I got the idea of what they were doing. But basically, it is a three-way holster um, with a different back here on it or one that's been cut and modified. Uh, they make these now for just about any of their product lines. So it's really interesting. It does work with the A1. It goes right in. The retention in these uh, can be different from the standard eyes holster just because it's really only grabbing at the trigger guard. So I could probably shake this one out. Yep, there we go, got it to do it. It's still tight, but again, this is really just meant to keep yourself to keep the trigger protected it's not really a duty holster or like an edc uh holster that that i would be used to so i'm not one for a big for wearing like basketball shorts so i haven't tested it on that type of loose loose on that type of loose clothing uh for what i understand people really like it i just don't wear basketball shorts so when you stick the a2 in here it does lock a lot better than on the A1. Still got retention. I'm not, you know, we'll even hold it this way. Nope. And so it grabs, it really locks in better on the A2, but this is also designed specifically for the A2. 
But if you're looking for something minimal, um, I will say, I mean, guys, you know, like I said, I don't wear basketball shorts, but I do wear uh, a kilt. I, I like this holster. I like this, especially for an appendix setup. So I've been thrilled with it. I've got about three months or so of testing and running it. Uh, we'll come back at about six months, maybe a year. We'll see if I have a change of thought or if I find anything else you know, different with it or improved that we can mess with. But you know, getting into it, something new to test, three months, I've been running it every other day and I've had no issues. I haven't had any issues of once you actually have this inside your clothing and removing the pistol, um, you can actually holster back up. There's no issue with that. It works just as nice as a three-way or the original inside the waistband holster. So that's been awesome. Getting into one of the final things, DoubleClick actually has designed a new security clip and this clip actually rolls over the back edge. So if you stick this through a belt, once it goes through, you can actually pull it around and latch it. And then there's no way for this clip, if, it's, if the holster is pulled up, for the, for the belt to slip off. Uh, granted, I've never really had that issue on the standardized open clips, but this is set up for you guys that are running uh, military or law enforcement security for the, like the tactical process system or into the three-way if you retake it from a two-point clip to a single-point clip. Uh, once you've got your belt ran through this, literally the only way that I have found to get this clip off is to actually pull the belt through it. So your belt would have to be cut in half or removed from your body to get this clip to, un to unlock and pop off. So that's been really cool. Um, I did just email before doing this video and I'm going to see about getting some of these clips for this the, uh, the Tactical Elite because I like the idea maybe of sticking this holster on a uh, battle belt on Molly. So I'm going to see if I can get them to do that. They'll be, uh, if I can get them to do that or they have one available or get them to make the screw spacing correct for this holster, um, maybe we can get double click to, to make that. So really interested to see about putting this through Molly and putting it on a, on a, on a gun rig or a battle belt. So that's what's going on with the new double click holsters. So if you guys are interested, again, this is the three way and this is called the Ghost. So for the Styre lineup, guys, from now on, it uh, doesn't matter if you order for the A2, A1, the holsters are interchangeable. They're going to work with your pistols. Um, sizing and everything, like I said, these are, uh, the holsters are molded off of real guns. They're not off blue guns. So the fit and finish, the way that they're gonna interact with the pistol is spot on. You should have no issues. One cool thing that's happening, if you guys have checked out and seen on the Instagram side of the page, uh, I actually designed a holster and it's based off the three-way, but it also has an additional uh, place to carry a magazine. That holster was sent in, it was just a prototype. I gave it to DoubleClick to see what they could do with it. They ended up, uh, they've produced two of these holsters. One's on its way on Monday. So here in about two days, that holster should be on its way to me. We're gonna get to test it and evaluate, see what it works. If it works and everything's how I like it, that holster is actually gonna go into production. It'll start with the Styre lineup, but it will be an inside the waistband with an extra magazine uh, spot for it. So hopefully we'll get some pictures. I'll post them up or I'll add them into this video. Um, there is a prototype, but I don't have it just yet. I'm waiting on it to be shipped. So as soon as it gets here, I'll show it off to you and need a little bit of help from you guys on the video side. If the holster works and we get it and we bring it to market, what should we name it? Um, it's been kind of floated around to do the, T, the, the TNS Mod 1 is one option. Uh, the three-way plus mag carrier or, or three-way plus is a different one. And then just the TNS holster. So those are kind of three that, that's been set out there, but you guys have an idea, have something interesting for a name, you think that a appendix style inside the waistband holster, what should the name be? So we'll give some feedback, double click if everything all works out.
So hopefully that will all be here and I can shoot a follow-up video and show you guys that prototype. Alrighty, uh, do remember if you order anything through Double Click Holsters, if you guys want to save 10%, you can use my discount code which is TNSTYRE10, put it in your order, send an email, let them know. That works on everything site, store-wide that you could want from Double Click. Um, if you guys are into putting weapons lights on here, do remember Double Click will build you a custom holster if they don't happen to have that light. Uh, you just need to send them an email, talk to them, and work out shipping and making the arrangements. Granted, custom holsters do take a little bit of time, but they're really, really good with their customer service on getting it done. So, hope that helps. Hope you guys enjoy the holsters. Hope you like the discount code and what we're doing here on the channel. We'll see you next time.